Well, hello and welcome back to Posh Cat Scammy. It's um, Tuesday, yeah, it's Tuesday today, and uh, it's two weeks to the bank holiday weekend. So it's not this coming weekend, it's the weekend after. And we're going to do our Jubilee tour starting from today. Now, uh, a little bit late starting this morning. Uh, bit of a slow start but what is it now about half past nine in the morning I'm just packing the last few things in Smurf and uh, I've got one or two new things that we've bought that we're taking with us for the first time okay so a couple of the things that we've bought this week is an eco camel um, shower head which we had in our Eldis caravan and also in Bertie um, we like these it's um, you know, water saving device. I'll get it out of the box and uh, I'll show you where it's, it's going to replace the one that IH put on. I'll just have not be blind so we can see. Um, it's a much smaller compact unit which I really like but Sue can't get on with. It's got a little trigger here uh, and it's operated from the um, mixer tap here. Uh, I've said to Sue that it's going to be more bulky but um, I'm not going to argue, argue with a lady over a shower head when she wants to do her hair. So uh, we're going to fix that on right now. As you can see, quite a difference in size. And there we are. It sticks out a little bit, but that's fine. Um, that's going to keep Sue happy. I'm going to keep this one on board. Uh, just tuck it away. I might, might pop it uh, in the little cupboard at home where I keep all my spares. Incidentally, the Eco Camel shower head was £45 online. The next two items I got two for around about £30. I think it was uh, just under £30. Um, they should have been £20 each, but they're the pet cooling mat. Let's take a look at one of those. And one of the things that we're very concerned about with the dogs um, is the heat in the van. And these uh, are gel mats. Um, and this one is 65 centimetres by 50 centimetres. And it's made by Pow Bear. Um, not sponsored by any of these products this morning. Uh, I had to buy them, so uh, I'm not putting Amazon links or anything in, but these did come from Amazon uh, because I needed them quickly. And uh, so I'll, get, I'll just unpack this. <laughs> and there it is. It's pretty straightforward, really. It's quite a uh, strong sort of plastic um, polyurethane type bag with gel pouch in, inside, it's, it's in two sections. So there's it's split in half, um, and the gel pouches are supposed to keep your dog cool, or pet, you can have a pet for cats as well. Um, this size should fit nicely into the crate. And the final thing that we bought for this uh, trip is a Total Cool 3000 cooling system. Now this is something that some YouTubers have slammed as being useless. Uh, I'm not saying I don't believe them, but uh, I've also heard really good reports if they're used in the right conditions. So we're going to give that a try. It's very important we keep our little dogs cool and ourselves, and uh, particularly at night time. So we're looking to uh, see how this works for us. The van's uh, well packed, we've got the dog beds on there for the moment. Uh, got some nice new bunting that I bought online. I'll put a link in the description below. Uh, very difficult to see it in the, uh, with the bright light, but a uh, little hexagonal bunting. And then up here I've got some, some pointy stuff. Oh no. <laughs> so today we're off to Canic Chase. Sue's in the van now, just bringing the last few bits and pieces in, um, putting them in the washroom. Um, and I think we're going to turn the van round in a second. The fridge has been running overnight and we've put all the food in yesterday, didn't we Sue? Yeah. And uh, most of the clothes came in yesterday. Um, this is a 12 night tour, 
um, what's planned to be a 12 note tour. We're going to try and come back to uh, our home on the Sunday of the Jubilee because I've got a street party and we really want to attend that. So we're going to try and be in two places at once, but never mind. Let's get on the road.
this lovely big tree. Because you've gone ahead. Well, as you probably gathered, we're on our evening stroll. We had a lovely day um, out today. We're just uh, walking off our dinner, really. <laughs> but uh, coming to the Canuck Chase is quite a quite a dense forest in places with some lovely paths so we're uh, just taking a few pictures along the way well Sue's just doing the uh, caravan and motorhome club sat nav um, we're off to Chester Fair Oaks Please now. drive to highlighted route. And uh, you know right. Give it a push. There we are. And um, we're leaving Canuck Chase, aren't we? The Camping and Caravan Club site. What do you think of this site, Sue? That's lovely. I think that's lovely. It's I not. I know you always say lovely, <laughs> but it's, it's um. How would you describe it? It's not. Um, it's quiet. Yeah, it's very quiet. Lovely walks. Nearby, loads of walks. It's not very, docks, it's woods. not a very big site, is it? No. Um, it's got everything you want. I, I think, I think that's the good the thing about. Staff are really friendly. Aren't yeah, they? staff are lovely. Yeah, really friendly. Um, I think the, um, the, the the site has got the glamping huts. It's got the um, the grass pictures for your tents and so on so there's a really good mix of camping here and it's not too groomed is it it's you still feel like you're in the forest no. would you say so um yeah and we're just waiting for the uh, waste to drain out and i thought we'll just uh, say our goodbyes from uh, canuck chase camping and caravan club site really enjoyed it haven't we yeah, and we spent a day in shugborough yesterday which was uh, also very pleasant so uh, that's it for another video. We'll catch you on the next leg of our journey and we'll see you in Chester. And bye bye for now. Bye. Bye.